Do you think beautiful people always find things easy? Wait till you find out what happened to a woman that was once called the most beautiful woman in the world. In 2016, a woman named Radha Atif appeared on the cover of Vogue India, establishing her presence and beauty in the modeling industry. However, barely a year later, in early 2017, the body of the 20-year-old Radha would be found in Bangladesh under the most mysterious circumstances. What happened to Radha? Why was her death shrouded in mystery? In this video, we will take a closer look at the life of Radha Atif and how this beautiful Maldivian model suffered a tragic end. Let's dive right in. Radha Atif was considered the most beautiful woman by many who saw her for the first time. This beauty had earned her the job she dreamed of her whole life, a Vogue model. In 2016, fortunately, a 20-year-old Radha appeared on the cover of Vogue India, earning her instant international fame. But Radha's beauty wasn't all that made her special. According to her parents, she was a genius. She was given a prestigious scholarship to the Rishahi Islami Bank Medical College in Bangladesh, where she studied to become a doctor. It was clear that Radha had a bright future ahead of her, but all of this vanished on the 29th of March, 2017. On this day, Radha's body was found in her college dorm room, hanging from the ceiling. A few hours after students discovered Radha's body, an autopsy report was performed without her parents even seeing her body, and her death was ruled a suicide. But here's where things get kind of sketchy. Radha's family rejected the result of the autopsy report. Radha was a genuinely happy child, they believed. There was no way she could have taken her own life. In fact, she was so close to achieving her lifelong dream, how could she leave it all behind? The family claimed that Radha was in fact murdered by none other than her roommate, the other student who discovered Radha's body in the dorm room. While this was initially dismissed as a preposterous claim, Radha's father soon got the world to listen to him, and he explained that his daughter had been killed out of jealousy and anger. However, her brother, Rayan Atif, paints a different story. He believed that Radha's suicide was staged by Islamic extremists who had murdered her in cold blood. This wasn't the first time Radha would be linked to Islam. Being a Muslim herself, the model was known as a public figure who spoke out against religious controversies. In addition to this, she was constantly criticized for wearing immodest outfits while also not wearing a veil like other Muslim women. Just a few weeks before her death, her brother also revealed that Radha told the family that someone put sleeping tablets in her drink. To find out the truth about their daughter, the family authorized another autopsy which revealed that there were strangulation marks on her neck. In response, the police argued that these were birthmarks, before later saying that the marks were caused by the thin metals of her scarf. The inconsistency of the police story of course pushed the family to dig further. In another claim, the family said that there were also bruises on her body and her tightly held fists suggested that she struggled before she died. While the family were confident Radha didn't kill herself, the police had strong evidence of Radha's suicide, a suicide note. In this letter, Radha says she killed herself because of her breakup with her boyfriend, Shahi Ghani, another student in the university. In the emotional letter, the model writes to Ghani saying, I only loved you, you never loved me. You're a terrible human being. You've done irreparable damage. There's nothing left. I feel hollow. I feel dead. Further investigations disclosed that Radha and Ghani had been romantic partners for a while, but this relationship ended when she found evidence of Ghani cheating. In her last recorded WhatsApp messages, the model types one last time to her lover, quote, you killed me, end quote. In addition to this, investigators found rat killers on her bed, but there were no signs that she had used them. However, the reports further show that she took sedative pills the day before, but the intervention of the medical college hospital saved her life. Unfortunately, the police could not arrest or question Ghani because he isn't a citizen of Bangladesh. Despite the family's insistence that Radha was murdered, the Bangladesh investigative unit has refused to reopen the case, leaving the model's death to remain a model mystery. Perhaps the suicide letter was forged, or her roommate had a role in her death, or Islamic extremists cut short her life. It is tragic that we will never know the truth of what happened to Radha Atif, a young woman with hopes and dreams, one that many praised because of her natural blue eyes. What do you think happened to Radha? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section, and thanks for watching.